was about to happen. And you will help me. Hi, it's Janine Mason. Catch a new episode of Roswell, New Mexico, this Monday at 8 to 7 Central. Breaking news now at 10, an LAPD motor officer rushed to the hospital after being thrown from his bike in a violent hit and run freeway crash. We are live. Plus, LA County avoids a new mask mandate as COVID cases and hospitalizations fall, but the highly infectious virus continues to spread. The hunt for follow home robbers who targeted a woman after withdrawing money from her bank, their sneaky scheme to grab her cash. And want some extra cash? Why? Not, uh, why not rent out your backyard as a dog park? How to turn your home into a profit center. Now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We begin with breaking news in South LA tonight where an LAPD motorcycle officer has been rushed to the hospital after being thrown from his bike during a violent crash on the 110 freeway. Police across the city are now looking for one of the drivers involved who took off without stopping. Live to Gil Lavis overhead in Sky 5. Gil. Mike and Cher, the crash investigation is just now clearing on the southbound 110 freeway. This happened just north of the 105 freeway tonight, just after 8 o'clock. Let me zoom out and show you a wider shot of the freeway where right now all lanes except the HOV lane are open. But let's go to the video that we shot when we arrived on scene. Uh, the crash shut down all southbound lanes of the 110 freeway, and the CHP issued a SIG alert due to the crash. Now, traffic was diverted off onto Century Boulevard as they worked on that, but you can see the crash scene. At least three vehicles involved, along with that motorcycle that was uh, struck by that hit-and-run driver. And now the uh, LAPD and other officers and, and uh, units are looking for that vehicle as we speak. But the uh, freeway opened about a half hour ago to mostly uh, most of the lanes. The HOV is still shut down right now, and it is sluggish all the way back to the, the 10 freeway. That's the very latest overhead in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Gil, thank you. And from the air to the ground, let's go live to John Finolio, live at Harbor UCLA Medical Center in Torrance, where that officer is being treated tonight. John. Yeah, Sharon, sure, Micah, that's right. The officer the emergency room just a short time ago. We are still waiting updates on his condition as this hit-and-run investigation continues. But we want to get you right to some of this video from the scene. This captured by Sky 5 just a short time ago. Uh, take a look at this video right here. You can see the officer moments after the crash. He's leaning against the center divider. Paramedics, of course, attending to his injuries. Uh, now, that officer appears to be responsive, so that's good news given how serious uh, his condition could be following this collision. Now, that police motorcycle you can also see is in bad shape following this multi-vehicle crash. Just a gnarly sight here on the freeway. Now, that crash occurred just after 8 o'clock on the 110 southbound near the 105 interchange. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department says a 2014 or 2015 two-door white BMW convertible crashed into the motorcycle officer. Now, that BMW was last seen heading southbound on the 110. Authorities say it does have collision damage in that BMW. Police say was a male black driver and male black passenger driver, a very limited description at this hour. But of course, as much information um, as can be provided at this moment as this investigation continues to try to find the driver and passenger responsible for this crash. Now, if you come back to us live, we can tell you we are still waiting updates on that officer's condition and we will bring them to you as soon as we have them. For now, reporting live in Torrance, I'm John Finolio. I'll send it back to you in the studio. John, thank you. L.A. County has avoided a new indoor mask mandate. Infections are falling and fewer people are being hospitalized for COVID-19. But the highly contagious BA5 variant is still out there. And tonight, the Biden administration has plans for a new booster campaign to fight it. KTLA's Mary Beth McDay joins us live from the KTLA News Center with more MB. Mike and Tara, LA County health officials say that they are hoping that the recent downward trend in cases could indicate that the current surge has peaked. Meantime, new boosters targeting the highly transmissible Omicron variant BA5 may be coming to a pharmacy near you and soon. Coming this September, Pfizer and Moderna reportedly plan to deliver updated COVID-19 boosters that will be more effective against the high.